Three of the 44 attractions available for free through the pass include the Vancouver Art Gallery, the Aquarium and the Vancouver Opera. City Councilor Carrie Jang helped kickstart the new program. It came from looking at what other cities are doing to help low-income individuals actually explore and have some fun across the, uh, across the city. Because when you think about it, if you have a couple kids and you pay $3 here, $4 here to go see something, that adds up pretty quick. So in this way, the children, for example, and the families get to go out and see all different parts of their city for free. Chantel Krish is an advocate who works closely with women and their low-income families. Low-income families often have to prioritize between food and shelter. Housing is so expensive here. I mean, transportation, all of the things that you and I might take for granted or that are just basic things to us that we budget into our regular lives. So stuff like entertainment and leisure and maybe even physical fitness often takes a back seat just because they don't have the finances or resources to, to place priority on those areas. Facilities like these have extra space that will be utilized by pass holders. Vancouver residents can use their library card to borrow the pass for two weeks once a year. The pass can be picked up at many Vancouver library branches, but availability is limited. Only 120 passes are available once the program starts. Wait lists have begun at many Vancouver library branches already, so make sure you check out this amazing deal soon. Janella Hamilton in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.